<laughs> Greetings from the video. Today I'm here with bike fit extraordinaire Philbert because we're going to talk about fore and aft and the best position for you and your saddle on your bike. So we're going to do a couple of bit of myth busting, just to get some amazing tips from yeah, the one and only. <laughs> also, ignore mine for the moment because we are going to talk about why mine is so extreme. Yeah. I get a lot of messages about that. Saddle fore and aft. So that is, is your, how far forward your saddle is and how far back it is, okay? Why is it important? It's important for injury, power, and comfort. Okay, so those three things are really important. Can't talk about fore aft unless, unless you talk about saddle height at the same time. And this is the reason, okay? If we move your saddle forward, your saddle height effectively drops. Okay, if you move it back, your saddle height goes up. So if you are going to move your saddle, make sure if your saddle height is ideal, then you want to maintain that. And an easy way to do that is just look at where your nose of your saddle is, where your setback is, move the fore aft, and then I'll measure your saddle height and adjust it that way, yeah? So that's important, okay? So the two go really hand in hand. Remember that it's that, it's that arc, of all bike fitting is, is moving people around the bottom bracket. Time trialing, French pin with his onions, okay? <laughs> In between is most of us, okay? When you're moving people around the bottom bracket, that's why crank length is really important, and everything, when you're moving people around that arc, that's, if you think about it, the ideal saddle height is coming up and forward and getting you above the bottom bracket. So fore aft is obviously part of that arc and saddle height is, okay? One way to think about, um, have you got the correct fore aft is looking at maybe if you're experiencing some problems, yeah? So the most common things associated with having your saddle too far forward is, if your saddle's too far forward, then you can often feel like the front end of the bike's really close. You're quite jammed up, you've got a lot of weight in your hands, you feel too compact, yeah? The other thing is about uh, too far forward is, it can cause knee pain because it brings your knee over your foot. And one of those bike fit parameters that we talk about, knee forward foot, we well know that it increases the patellofemoral compression forces. Now, that's a very posh way of saying your kneecap gets much more pressure on it because it's getting much more closed because you're forward. So if you're experiencing knee pain, feeling jammed up, consider where your saddle is as part of the solution, okay? Or part of what might be the problem and therefore might be part of the solution. Okay, so too far back, okay? A lot of people often think that the, the front end of the bike seat is far away. You wouldn't believe how many people I see who go, I think I bought the wrong size bike and they've literally just got the saddle and the waiting room out there almost too far back. And you move it up and forward and they, it demonstrably feels comfortable. It's one of the most easier things to do, one of the nice things to do, because the person hasn't got to buy a new bike. So if you're feeling like you're really stretched out on the bike and oh, I'm really struggling to get, you know, saddle too far back will be part of that. And because it's too far back, you're gonna to have to do a lot more lumbar flexion with your back. So sometimes you get back pain. It also closes up the hip because it's backwards and it acutely closes the hip angle so you can feel, sometimes you feel like your hips are getting really tight when you're cycling. So considering that, and it, and it robs you of power as well because the most powerful saddle positions are generally the highest ones and the furthest forward because you can get your hip extensors more involved. If your saddle's too low and too far back, you can't get the biggest, strongest muscle in your body, which is your, your ass, your, your glute, into the game, all right? So it's that back there. The other thing to consider with too far back is if you find yourself shuffling back all the time in the saddle. Now, it might be that you've not got the right whip saddle when you're looking for support, but as, as common as that is the saddle's too far back and you're looking for the support, which is this bit here, you know, you're looking for that width to sit on. And if you're too far back, you don't. So if you find you're constantly going, no, oh, that consider four aft, you know? Now, I know the next question you're gonna ask me is, how, how, do, you how do you get the right four aft? So, a bit of trial and error in some ways, okay? The first thing to say is, uh, ordinarily, and we'll look at yours in a second, right? In the rails here, if your saddle's all the way forward and the clamp's here and you've got nothing showing, that means the saddle's quite far back, right? And that's all right if you know the reason why it's there, all right? And we'll come into that. So if it's all the way forward, then you'll have all the rails showing at the front. Most saddles are designed to be clamped somewhere in here. That's why the rails are there. And that's why the, the thing on top of it, they've worked that out pretty well. So look at that first of all. Now, there are outliers and you are one case. Hello. Because you have these. <laughs> Gorgeous long legs, relatively short torso. So you're off the normal distribution curve, all right, of what anthropology means. So Katie's saddle here, you can see a hell of a lot of rail showing. She has a very good reason for that. She needs all the saddle eye in the world, but her little arms and back oh, can't reach the front here. <laughs> and basically, like, we're just popping one side. Go on. I'm basically like a little T-Rex. Long legs, but like a really short reach. And yeah, that's, that's why it has to be, because I couldn't have got, um, like a, someone said also about my saddle height. And I couldn't have got a smaller a frame. I couldn't have got a smaller frame or a different size frame because I needed the stack height at the front. Yeah. So that's why 
Yeah. I get a lot of comments about that and that is why, because I'm a bit of a freak of nature in my body composition and Phil was like, yeah, you're, you're a pretty tough bike fit because yeah. I have very long legs and a very short torso. Yeah, and that, that means yeah. the standard you know, frame stack and reach of that you need all the saddle height in the, in the frame size you're on but none of the reasons. <laughs> so that's why some people go and get a bespoke bike. That's a really good reason to have a bike made for you because you, you can have the best of both worlds. But yes. you can get around it with things like we talked before, crank length is really important that yeah. and where it's at. So that's one, one way of doing it. Of course, the other way is uh, what we call knee forward a foot, corf or something like this. And a lot of people will be aware of that. Get yourself on the bike and place your foot at nine o'clock in the pedal stroke. Drop a plumb line down from the front of your knee and you're Knee should always be behind the front of your foot if you want to avoid getting kneecap pain issues. And one final tip, right, okay, is it, it's fine to micro adjust for after, if you ask me, okay? In my book, sometimes I talk about macro absorbers and micro adjusters. With your saddle fore aft, when it's getting towards the right place, it's no problem just to move it ever so slightly forward or backwards because where this bit is here, the, what I call the flare of the saddle, makes a big difference. The sweet spot is your sit bones on there, yeah, your hip is supported, but this gets out of the way so you can get the leg. So one thing some people can play about sometimes is, you know, if they say I get chafing on my leg, they've got the saddle rammed too far forward and they haven't got the space to move their legs. You know, so that's one thing. And, and, and that I, don't, I think sometimes just thinking about, and it's different for everybody because everyone's pelvis is ever so slightly different and we all sit ever so slightly different, just micro adjusting that and finding, and the thing to do is well, that, come back to that phrase, what I call comfort filter. Once you're in the window, the bike fit window, micro adjusting it with comfort is 100% safe and legitimate. Because how you feel is the most important thing. It doesn't matter how it looks, it's how you feel. Okay. Definitely, and I think that's one of the main things that you've taught me is that it's a bike fit window. There's not like one set position, that is it forever and yeah. you can never be comfortable anywhere else. There's like an optimal position. Yes. So it's just finding that. So we know what the factors are if it's too far forward, if it's too far back. Yeah. So it's trying to find that little sweet spot in the middle. Exactly, just find that. So getting in the window and then find the sweet spot for you, you know. And generally, what I, my, my job in here most of the time is getting people into the window. And I'm more, more and more now, I'll say, okay, when you go away, I want you to go on your ride. I want you to go out on that kid. I want you to adjust this give them a bit a little bit what I call a playground to play around it. We've done that so yeah. they've got a little playground. Play in there, do not go outside the playground. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But find yourself there, alright? I just wanted to add, I remember not long ago I um this was all the way back and I'd not realised I did like a hundred K on it and I was like, hmm, oh, feels a bit odd. Uh, and then I realised it was because it was all the way the opposite way. That brings us back to know your position. Yeah. yeah in terms of you know, things do move, things do slip, especially when you're traveling with your bike and things like that. Yeah. Oh, things are slipping. So mark where your position is, because I know where mine is. Oh, far forward, is it do you know the worst people are for that? Pros. For pros. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because, well, they get lazy because uh, their bike's all set up by very good mechanics and people like me. And you ask a pro sometimes what your satellite is and a lot of them go, I don't know, because they don't need to know. <laughs> so don't be like the pros and know your saddle height, your, your fit window. Yeah. So know where it is. All right. Thank you so much. Any other questions that you've got about bike fit, leave them in the comments. We'll make as many videos as you want us to make because you are just like a fountain of bike fit knowledge. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. All right. No problem. <laughs> See you all next video.